What's going on, Key Factor community? I'm Sven. Today we're going to look at how to install the YubiKey Manager on Windows and put a credential on a YubiKey so we can log into the EGBCA admin web and RA web. So with that, let's kick it off and get into the tutorial. We can see we got the docs up here and we're going to be doing the same thing we did for the Mac one where we're just going to install the YubiKey Manager and we don't need to do much else other than that on Windows. So we'll go over to the UB site. We'll download the Windows 64 downloader or installer. We'll get this downloaded onto Joey's computer. So we've got Joey who's actually doing the driving of this video for us. So thank you, Joey. And then we'll launch the installer and we'll select yes to go. And then we'll click next. We'll use the default file path here to install. We'll click the install do the default for the folder path in that part too. And it runs through the installer. So we'll give it a couple seconds here to get installed. And then we'll click on finish. And then Joey's gonna plug in the YubiKey now and open the YubiKey manager. Cool. All right, it showed up, Joey, let's go. Then we're gonna go over to the PIV and we're going to click the pin management and we'll start with the pin. So we'll change pin. We'll use the default and use foo123, which has been our lab password or tutorial password, and we'll do change pin. And then we'll go to the puck, and we're going to select the default here, and then put in the foo123 and foo123, and then change pin or change puck. Then management, we're going to use the default. We'll make sure AES256 is selected, generate, and then we're going to copy the string and put it into notepad. And we'll click the finish. Now we can go back to the PIV application and we'll start generating the certificate. So we will go in and to the cert and we're gonna do generate. We'll select the certificate signing request, do next. And then we're gonna select RSA 2048 since this does work on Windows and next. And then we'll change that to internal admin Joey. Come on, Joey, let's type quicker. Thank you. All right, next and we'll do generate. And then it, it's going to prompt us for the place to save the CSR. So he'll enter UB CSR and then click save. And then he's going to copy the management key again from the notepad file into here, paste it, click OK, and then put in our pin, the foo123. And we'll click OK. And it generates. Now we we'll, can hop up to the RA web and we'll do make new request. Then we'll select the RA administrator and select the RA admin profile, since it's RSA, and we'll do provided by user. We'll browse to the CSR, select the CSR, and then open. We'll copy the common name to use as the username, and paste it there, and we'll do the download PEM. Now that we've got the PEM downloaded, we can scroll back up, and we're going to get the serial number. So we'll scroll up, do search, certificates, and paste the username in here and it finds Joey, there we go. We'll click view, and we're going to select the serial number, the certificate serial number, copy that. We'll hop over to admin web and go under this new funky menu, the roles and access rules. We'll go to the members of super administrator role, and then we're gonna use the certificate serial number, but select the management CA, so hit the drop down, and then management CA. We'll paste the value, and then you can put a little description, so Joey, UB, cool. Add, excellent. Then we're going to go back to the YubiKey Manager now to import the cert, so click on that down in the bottom, yep. And then import, select our cert, and then put in the management pin, so copy it from the notepad, paste it, click OK, and now we've got it in there, and we can close the UB Manager out. We're done at this point. The next thing we need to do is when he closes it, is unplug the YubiKey to re-plug it in for the search to get copied into Cappy there to show up, and then open up a private browser. We'll select the cert, we'll click OK. We get prompted for the pin. Now we are logged in from Windows on a YubiKey. Thank you, Joey, for demoing that in the tutorial. All right, so as Joey showed us here, it's that simple and quick to be able to install the YubiKey Manager on Windows and generate a CSR, get it signed by EGBCA, set it up in the role to log in. RSA 2048 does work on Windows. Maybe we'll get some time to look at why it didn't work on Mac. 
but now you can see we can have secure credentials for both OS's and if we get somebody to do Linux for us, we'll add a Linux one too. Otherwise, until then, we'll see you in the next video and have a great time doing PKI.